Have you ever imagined a future where humanity has transcended the boundaries of our Earth, our solar system, and even our galaxy? Picture a reality where we no longer look up at the stars with wonder, but rather look around at them with familiarity. This is the concept of a Type 3 civilization, a fascinating stage on the Kardashev scale. In previous videos, we've explored the incredible milestones humanity must achieve on our path to becoming a Type 3 civilization. As a reminder, we currently harness only a fraction of our planet's energy, placing us at Type 0.8 on the Kardashev scale. Now, Let's rewind a little bit, but first, welcome back again everyone aboard our science cruiser. Today's journey to a Type 3 civilization involves first evolving into a Type 1 civilization, where we can utilize all the energy available on Earth. Next, we would become a Type 2 civilization, mastering the energy of our Sun and our solar system. Finally, reaching Type 3 status would mean extending our capabilities across the entire galaxy, harnessing the power of billions of stars. Now, you might be wondering, a Type 3 civilization wields the power of entire galaxies, but how? Well, let's delve into the extraordinary ways such a civilization might harness and manipulate energy. The first step would be tapping into the vast energy resources of the galaxy itself. Imagine megastructures like Dyson spheres enveloping entire stars, capturing and channeling their immense power. These colossal constructs would not just surround one or two stars, but potentially millions, turning entire star systems into power plants. The scale of such an endeavor is mind-boggling, but for a Type 3 civilization, it would be just another day at the office. But stars are not the only powerhouses in the galaxy. In the heart of most galaxies lie supermassive black holes, objects with gravitational fields so strong they bend space and time. A Type 3 civilization could potentially tap into this gravitational power, extracting energy from the very fabric of the universe. The methods for achieving this are beyond our current understanding, but the energy payoff would be astronomical, to say the least. However, harnessing energy is only half the equation. The next step would be efficient matter-energy conversion. We're talking about the ability to transform matter into pure energy and back again at will. This would be the ultimate recycling system, where nothing goes to waste and everything serves a purpose. The possibilities would be infinite, need to construct a new Dyson Sphere? Just convert a nearby asteroid into energy and use that energy to assemble the necessary materials. Want to send a spaceship to another galaxy? Convert part of the ship into energy for fuel, then reconvert it back into matter upon arrival. But such a process would not just be about convenience, it would also be about survival. Converting matter to energy could provide a civilization with the power it needs to thrive in the harsh environment of space, while converting energy back into matter could create the resources necessary for sustaining life and building new worlds. The ability to manipulate energy on such a grand scale would have profound implications. It would mean more than just limitless power. It would mean the ability to shape the galaxy according to their needs, to create and destroy on a whim, to defy the fundamental laws of nature as we understand them. In essence, the mastery of energy would be more than just a technological achievement. It would be a testament to the ingenuity and determination of a civilization, a sign of their mastery over the universe itself. But remember, harnessing and manipulating energy on a galactic scale is just one aspect of what it means to be a Type 3 civilization. There's so much more to explore in this extraordinary hypothesis. Stay tuned as we delve deeper in this futuristic world. In a civilization capable of harnessing the energy of a galaxy, what could be the limits of their reach in space and time? Picture a society that has overcame the constraints of light-speed travel. 
the universe no longer bound by the chains of time and distance. In fact, it would become relatively smaller to us because of our ability to move around galaxies instantaneously. We recently predicted that Type II civilization would be capable of approaching the speed of light. For Type III, this would already be a reality. One way of achieving this without breaking Einstein's special theory of relativity would be to bend the fabric of space-time itself, whether through the creation of warp drives that distort space or the opening of wormholes that serve as shortcuts through the cosmos, the possibilities are as limitless as the universe itself. But it's not just about getting from point A to point B. Imagine the ability to modify or even construct planets. Terraforming, the art of making the inhospitable habitable, could be as commonplace as construction is today. Need a new planet for an expanding population? No problem. Just pick a suitable rock, and with a bit of stellar engineering, you've got a new Earth. And speaking of stellar engineering, this isn't just about creating comfortable living conditions. It's about manipulating the very life cycles of stars. Preventing supernovae, creating stars, managing energy production. These could all be within our reach. We're talking about a civilization that has the power to safeguard itself from the cataclysmic events of the cosmos. They could essentially become the architects of their own galactic destiny. But let's take a step back and consider what this means. The ability to manipulate space and time, the power to shape planets and stars, these are not small feats. They require an understanding of the universe that far surpasses our own. They demand technologies that defy our current comprehension. They necessitate a mastery over the very fabric of reality itself. It's an extraordinary thought, isn't it? It's a future that is as exciting as it is terrifying. The power to shape the cosmos, to venture to the furthest reaches of the universe, to manipulate the very fabric of reality. This is the potential of a Type III civilization on the Kardashev scale. The journey to becoming a Type III civilization is not just about gaining power, it's about learning how to wield it responsibly. With control over space and time, this super-advanced civilization could make the galaxy their playground. With the power of a galaxy at their fingertips, what kind of technologies could a Type III civilization develop? Well, the first piece of this technological puzzle could be autonomous, self-replicating machines. Imagine von Neumann probes, named after the brilliant mathematician John von Neumann. These machines would be capable of traveling to distant star systems, gathering resources, and replicating themselves. In essence, they would be interstellar 3D printers, creating copies of themselves to explore, build, and maintain the vast infrastructure of a galactic civilization. They could potentially construct megastructures, mine asteroids for resources, and even establish colonies on distant worlds. Next, we have the concept of quantum and dimensional computing. Today, our best computers operate on the principles of classical physics. They process information as a series of ones and zeros. But in a Type III civilization, computing could transcend these limitations. Quantum computers, leveraging the weird and wonderful principles of quantum mechanics, could process vast amounts of data simultaneously. They would offer unimaginable processing power, crunching through complex simulations and problems that would take our current computers millennia to solve. Even more intriguing is the idea of dimensional computing. This speculative technology would harness the power of extra dimensions, if they exist, to further increase computational power. These advanced computing technologies could drive artificial intelligence to levels we can barely comprehend, potentially creating minds more intelligent than all of humanity combined. Last but certainly not least, we have nano and picotechnology. Today, we're just scratching the surface of nanotechnology, manipulating matter at the atomic level to create new materials and devices. 
But a Type 3 civilization could take this a step further. Picotechnology would involve the manipulation of matter at the subatomic level. It would allow for the creation of materials with customized properties, devices smaller and more powerful than anything we can currently imagine, and medical breakthroughs that could extend life or even defeat death. And while it may sound like science fiction, some even suggest that picotechnology could potentially alter the fabric of reality itself. These advanced technologies would not arise in isolation. They would be interconnected, each one enabling and enhancing the others. Autonomous machines could be powered by quantum computers. Pico technology could be used to build more efficient von Neumann probes or quantum computers. And all these technologies could be used to harness and manipulate energy, to master space and time, and to explore and colonize the galaxy. This is the kind of future we're talking about when we discuss a Type 3 civilization. A future where humanity has transcended many of the limits we take for granted today. A future where our technology is as far beyond today's smartphones and space shuttles as those devices are beyond a stone axe. These advanced technologies would be the lifeblood of a Type 3 civilization. In this future, humanity may not be alone. How would interaction with extraterrestrial civilizations look like? Predicting the future of human encounters with other civilizations in the universe is highly speculative, but it revolves around several key considerations, including technological advancements, the vast distances between stars, and the possibility of life elsewhere. As humanity progresses, particularly if we reach a Type II or Type III civilization on the Kardashev scale, our capabilities for space exploration and communication will expand exponentially. By that time, we might have the technology to traverse or communicate across vast interstellar distances, potentially detecting or interacting with extraterrestrial civilizations. If and when humans do encounter other civilizations, it's conceivable that we could be among the most advanced, especially if we have managed to overcome significant technological and societal hurdles to reach such a level of advancement. This progression would likely make a comparison between humans of that era and humans now virtually impossible due to the profound changes in technology, society, and perhaps even biology that such advancements entail. The fundamental nature of human life, our understanding of the universe, and our place within it would be dramatically different, potentially to the point where our current way of life and understanding of existence would seem primitive in comparison. It's a task that would require a sophisticated understanding of the universe and the ability to manipulate its forces in ways we can only dream of today. As we conclude our journey through the fascinating concept of humanity evolving into a Type 3 civilization, we've explored the boundless possibilities and challenges that lie in mastering the energy of an entire galaxy. We talked about building huge structures around stars to capture their power and even using the energy from black holes. This might sound like something from a sci-fi movie, but who knows what the future holds? Moving from using just a bit of Earth's energy to controlling the power of billions of stars is a huge leap. It shows just how far we might go, turning what seems impossible now into everyday stuff in the future. We've also imagined how we could change planets to live on them and even control the life of stars. This could mean a future where we can avoid cosmic disasters and really make our mark on the galaxy. And hey, we're just getting started. If you enjoyed this trip with us on our science cruiser, like this video and make sure to subscribe for more adventures. Got any thoughts or questions about today's topic? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, keep looking at the stars and stay curious.